If you were to stumble across a beautiful camel thorn like this, Vachelia areoloba, and look on the ground and see all these fruit pods here, uneaten, you'd ask yourself, what's going on? This must be a very, very unusual place because there's no livestock here that's eating these, and there doesn't appear to be any wildlife here that's eating these either. And everything loves these pods. Well, I can explain that. That's because I am in a very, very remote part of the Kalahari Desert in Botswana during midwinter when there's absolutely no water around and therefore very little wildlife. This is a wildlife area. This is the stunning KD2 wildlife concession. Just on the outside perimeter, this is communal land, on the outside perimeter of the Kalahari Transfrontier Park, which is a beautiful, beautiful park. The park, by the way, where all the Meerkat movies were filmed. And if you've seen the our little Meerkat episode, that was filmed very, very, very close to here, about 500 meters away, actually. And this is really unique parkland. You can see this open, open uh, grassland with dotted with these trees, mostly the same, they're mostly the camel thorn. Really, really, really stunning. Camel thorn tree, beautiful tree, used by early pioneers for its timber, used to build wagons, uh, a lot of medicinal applications. It's also a lovely scented wood. Um, it's got a beautiful smell. Uh, you can see sometimes the thorns, which are absolutely vicious, occasionally uh, have a fattened base, which we refer to as an ant gall. But there's a bit of debate about whether it's caused by ants. It's home to ants. And the story always was that the ants actually caused this by injecting some chemical into the tree. The tree responds, forms this gall that the ants then inhabited. We don't really know if that's true or not, but nevertheless, there is clearly an association between these swellings and ants. Swellings are also found in another tree, very common in this area, although not on that variety in this area. That's the acacia, or should I say, Vachelia luderetsi. I will talk about that in another episode. I've just come out of the bush in the Kalahari Transfrontier Park, haven't seen a shower for several days, um, and uh, probably you can't smell anything because it's through the camera. Lucky you guys if you could. Woo, I'm not sure it would be great, but I've absolutely loved it. It's been fantastic. So uh, guys, I'm just going to leave you with this closing shot of this beautiful scenery in this Kalahari light, really spectacular, unique, unique environment. Meerkats, as I said, 500 meters over there. We know there's a resident pride of lion somewhere just over there. Springbok for sure on the pan just behind me. I'll show you a shot of the pan a bit later. And uh, for now, I'm out of here. Take it easy, guys. I do hope to see you again. If we haven't met before, my name's Gus, the African Plant Hunter. This is what I do. Little stories about African trees, African plants. You're always welcome to join me. There's plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, AfricanPlantHunter.com. Do, do, do join me. I look forward to seeing you again. All right, take it easy. Cheers. Bye.